The president has spoken. Nothing must remain on the shelves. Nothing must remain in stock. Prices must come down. And so the crowds flocked to Dakar electronics stores in the hope of finding a bargain, something that's become all too rare in Venezuela. I have been trying to buy a refrigerator for a month now, and I haven't been able to because the goods are too expensive. The five-store chain invoked the president's fury for charging what he says are exorbitant prices. A number of managers have been arrested. The government is now in charge. I've ordered the immediate occupation of this chain to offer its products to the people at fair prices. Everything. Let nothing remain in stock. Enough. With an annual inflation rate of 54% and shortages of basic goods, there's plenty of appetite for fair prices. After Friday's announcement, overnight queues formed fast. Some appliances are being sold at a quarter of their price at the beginning of the week. In Caracas, the military has been drawn in to keep order, and there are reports of looting at another Dakar store in the city of Valencia. The president often accuses wealthy businessmen of hoarding goods to push up prices, and now he's ordered a nationwide crackdown. In almost all stores, companies are speculating on the prices. What the government is doing is good. But critics say the government's economic mismanagement is to blame for high inflation, and this is political theatre ahead of municipal elections next month. Rising prices have dented the president's popularity. Few Venezuelans can get their hands on what they want. Emily Thomas, BBC News.